Hey guys, this is Puller. Just want to show you guys the unboxing of the Typhoon Frame ARF kit and some of the optional plates that you can get with it. First of all, let's, uh, let's go through the ARF stuff, what you get with the ARF kit. You get your four props for the slow fly 10 by 4.7s and you get two extra props. You get the four speed controllers. Four ESEs. They're uh, nice quality 18 amp speed controllers. You get four of the motors from the AeroQuad store. These are the 2212 1000 kV motors. They're great motors. Really strong, really quick, very well balanced motors. You also get the, the uh, wiring kit and harness. As you can see, it's a great wiring harness with some high gauge battery connectors and already soldered bullet connectors for all the motors to connect in. You also get a couple of extra connectors which snap in, plug ins. So you have a power connector for the Arduino Pro Mega, and then you can have optional connectors for FPV, things like that. You get heat shrink and you get the extra bullet connectors. And that's the differentiation between the regular kit and the ARF kit. Now the regular kit comes with this. This is the regular naked Typhoon frame. It comes with the forearms, comes with the standoffs, and it comes with these plates. This is the battery mounting plate and the arm mounting plate. So an arm will fit directly into this position and come off. And here's where you can put the Velcro to hang your battery underneath the quad. Here's the CPU mounting plate that goes on top of the arm kit to hold the arms together and to hold your CPU. It's got all the predetermined mounting holes for all the different boards that the AeroQuad store sells. The Mega with a 2.1 shield, the Mini, and the Blue board will all fit on here. These are also two legs that go on the bottom of the battery board to protect your battery underneath. Here's the arms that come with the ARF kit. These are built out of the die bond material. It's really stiff, really solid, really lightweight. Here's the motor mounting plate. You mount the motor on here, get everything situated, run your wires, mount it to the bottom of the arm, screw it up, get it nice and tight, and mount it to the arm mounting plate and then sandwich it with the computer plate on top. The kit also comes with all the necessary standoffs, whether they be aluminum for the high strength parts of the arm that you need, or nylon for the lightweight parts of the arm that you need. Also comes with the 90 degree connectors for the, the bottom legs, and then some more really high standoffs for the CPU board or the cover. The optional plates that you can get with your kit are in the um, store as options. You can get the AeroQuad logoed cover plate and you can get an FPV plate that you can go mount a GoPro one side video transmitter on the other side, other options in the middle. Now these two are the optional plates that come that you can get with your kit. So quick recap, the naked kit for the Typhoon frame comes with the four arms, the bag of standoffs, and these three plates. Arm plate, battery plate, CPU mounting board, and landing gear. Two optional plates are the cover, the AeroQuad logo cover, the FPV cover, and then the ARF kit. Get the, you get the wiring harness, you get the four 2212 motors, 1000 kV motors. You get the four electronic speed controllers in the ARF kit and six propellers, two spares, two counterclockwise, two clockwise. That's the ARF kit. Can't wait to start building this, guys. This looks awesome. Really lightweight, really durable.